Hello fellow doll lovers, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. This video is part three of the USA Thrift Gigantic Thrift Haul, um, the second one, not the first one. And if you haven't seen part one and part two, you should probably watch those first. And I will put it in the link below, so go ahead and watch that now, and I will wait for you guys to go ahead and do that. Okay, so, um, assuming that you guys have done that, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to go ahead and change the camera angle so that you guys can see all the clothes and shoes and accessories and furniture that I found there. I found a whole bunch of awesome ones again this time. And, um, yeah, um, without further ado, here are all of the amazing clothes, shoes, accessories, and furniture that I found at USA Family Thrift. Alright, so the first thing is this really pretty metallic blue and gold dress. It is brand new. It still has the plastic on top. As you can see, it still has the plastic in here, and it's in perfect condition. It's super pretty, and I really like it a lot. I found this one in the same spot as that one. This one is also brand new. It has the plastic in there, too, and this one's really pretty. It's silver and peachy, and it's satin underneath with this silver overlay, and it has these white roses on it, and it's really pretty. It also has, like, this sheer cuffed sleeve. It's really, really pretty, and it's, like, brand new, and it's so gorgeous. The last dress I found is this gorgeous purple one. It's got silver in it and it's got like this paisley design on it and it's so pretty. It isn't brand new but I just thought it was so pretty I couldn't pass it up. I love it so much. So these are all of the jackets I found. I didn't find as many clothes in this haul but the ones that I did find are really super cool. I found this transparent jacket. It looks like it sort of might be like a raincoat but I think it's really cool and it would look good with a whole bunch of different things. And I also found this pale blue jacket. It's got fur around the collar, and it looks a little small for a Barbie, but I think it might fit a Project MC Squared doll. I don't know if that's what it's originally supposed to be for, but I think it would look cute on one of them. I also found another fur one. This one is purple, and it's kind of fraying right here, but other than that, I think it's pretty cool, and you can, you can sort of hide that with the fur, which is all the way around it. It's leather and it's really pretty and I think it would look good with maybe a pair of jeans and some black boots or maybe some brown boots. I also found this pink denim jacket. This jean material has a slight pink tint to it and it has pink around the collar and pink stitching. It also has little silver buttons and I think it's really cute. And the last one is this motorcycle jacket that I think would look good on a My Scene doll. It is in pretty good condition. The leather is sort of like coming apart a little bit. But other than that, it's also in really good condition. Alright, so these are the pants, shorts, and skirts that I found. I only found one pair of pants, and it came on like a Hannah Montana Christmas doll. I'm really not that excited about the pants. I just thought that they looked really cute with the top that it came with. My dog just came in. If that's the, rattle the rattling you heard is my dog coming in. But anyway, yes, I do bring my dog to Wisconsin with me because he's little enough, and you guys have met him. And hopefully he won't come over here and mess up my setup. But anyway, I don't think I showed you guys the shirt that it came with. I don't know where it went. Um, I'm looking in my bag of stuff. No, I don't think I brought it down here. But it's red and sparkly and pretty. But anyway, yeah, that's a cute pair of um, gray leather pants with some rhinestones on the side. I also found this um, red pleated skirt with a bow. And this pink cheetah print skirt with a gold top with a gold waist and this little plaid skirt and this pair of leather and silver shorts. So this is the miscellaneous fabric stuff that I had. I have this really pretty Mycene romper. It's denim with a silver belt or gray and this really pretty pink cutout with flowers and a heart on it and a faux fur purple collar and there's also this um, purple towel and this very beautiful muff um, it's like a a fur stole or something but it actually is really stained right there but hopefully I can be able to get that out because it is really nice those are all of the clothes that I found and once I set all of the accessories up, you guys will get to see all of those. I found a whole bunch of really awesome things here. So these are all of the doll shoes I found. I think my favorite pair has to be the first one. They're so cute. They're like laced up tennis shoes, except they're like calf high and they're super cute. I don't know if they'll fit Barbies, but I'm sure it's not going to try. Next is a pair of tall white 
why did I say white? Black boots. And then a pair of brown cowboy boots. A pair of pinkish reddish fairy shoes. A pair of little navy blue calf boots. Well, they're more closer to like the ankle with molded socks. And then a pink pair. And another pink pair. And then a purple pair. And a pair of pink tennis shoes, black tennis shoes, white tennis shoes, a pair of black high heels, a pair of white high heels, purple high heels, and then you can't really tell, but in here, there's a pair of white ballerina slippers. Here, let me see if I can show you. There's a pair of white ballerina slippers, and then a pair of white high heels, and then a pair of white sandal heels, a pair of yellow high heels that would go good with a bell doll, I'm hoping that that might work out, and then a pair of silver strappy sandals, high heels, a pair of red high heels, and a pair of little blue ballerina flats. Alright, so here are a whole bunch more accessories. I apologize, my dad was downstairs watching me film, and right before I stopped the video he started talking about a pair of the shoes that I had shown you. So if you hear a random guy's voice at the very end of my last part while I was showing you guys the shoes, that's my dad talking in the middle of my video. Well, not really the middle, but closer to the end. But anyway, these are the purses and dishes and necklaces, belts, and hats. So there is this little white first aid kit. There is this pink um, purse with a really cute silver and black detailing. A really pretty blue purse. A brownish one. A gold one. A black and blue one with a B on it. A mint green one. I really like this one a little silver purse and those are all the purses I found I have four headpieces slash hats there is like a little riding hat there is a silver crown for a Ken doll there are two blue visors my dad's in here watching me film Yeah. there is a little brown belt with tassels I really like this there is a jasmine necklace and aurora necklace two silver bracelets, one white bracelet, another silver bracelet, a charm bracelet with a ruby on it, a silver, dad, get your finger out of there. <laughs> There's a silver belt, my dad's being, hey, stop stepping on that. Sorry. It's okay. He's stepping on all of my doll accessories, probably crushing some. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. Okay, no, back. No, it just, the cushion made it fall over. Oh, it was the cushion's fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's this silver belt that came with that with this gray pair of pants that I showed you earlier this pair There are some dishes. There are different sizes. There's large medium and small dishes There's one large two medium and two small a blue bowl a little wine glass Two sugar bowls two teacups. I don't know what this is. It looks like a little cone of some sort I don't know what this is. No, that looks like a trumpet it doesn't have any, like, anything. Let me see it. My dad's looking at it. Okay, so anyway, there is a little jar or something, another little goblet, two more cups, a blue one and, a, like, a clear one, and then there's a knife and a spoon, two little jars, a silver and a gold one. There is a, another little, little wine goblet, a really pretty teapot, I mean, not teapot, teacup, and then a little white jar of some all right, sort. So this is the last of all the stuff I found. There's this little thing that has cans in it, a scale, another scale, a cash register, a phone book, a little box with another box in it. I think they might be for tea, I'm not sure. Two little racks, I don't know what they're for, but they're really cute. Um, I think this might go on some sort of food processor or something, a pink frying pan, a little scoop for like flour or something, a little silver bucket with a piece of black, random black yarn around it, a pink frisbee, a singular orange weight, a bowl of popcorn, two things of coke, a thing of fruit punch, and three cans of coke. A thing of coffee, a lid to something, two hangers, a mirror, a hot dog, I have no idea what that is, two videotapes, um, two pairs of binoculars, a bell pepper, some french fries, a picture frame that can actually stand upright, a little dog dish with a bone and food in it, um, 
amp microphone, a whole bunch of like soap dispensers and shampoo bottles, um, a sandwich, a soap with a little place for the soap to sit in, another jar of something, doctor's equipment, some sort of thing, a little horse brush, um, a little thing with a lid. The lid cannot be removed, unfortunately. A another little thing, except it looked like it's supposed to pour something. And a whole bunch of little pictures. There are a whole bunch of these. There's just a whole bunch of little mini photos of certain things. And then there's one bigger one. And that is all the stuff I found at the thrift store. I found tons and tons of stuff. As you can see, found tons of shoes. Found a ton of like purses and stuff. Found a whole bunch of dresses. Found a whole bunch of stuff. More and more clothes. I found so much clothes and shoes and the like. But anyway, thank you guys for watching through all three parts of the video. You guys are such troopers. Thank you guys again. Please subscribe if you haven't already for more videos on my channel. Um, let me know if you have any ideas for the doll names, like in part one and part two. Let me know if you have any ideas of the doll names. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay tuned for more awesome videos. Bye!